Okay, good day mga kababayan. Oh, muli tayong nagbabalik. Thank you very much po sa ating mga kababayan. Uh, patuloy na nagtitiwala po sa ating uh, YouTube channel. Maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, pagtutok. At kung bago ka lang sa ating uh, YouTube channel, please subscribe at pahit na rin po ng ating uh, notification bell. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyong pong pagsuporta mga kababayan. At ang topic po natin ngayon ay ang uh, mainit na talakayan no? sa pagitan po ng, ng ating uh, butihing Vice President Enday Sara Duterte. Ganon din ang makabayan black, no? lalong-lalo na itong uh, Gabriela Partilist at Kabataan Partilist mga kababayan. Dito sa kanilang hearing no? na ginanap, ano nga ba ang nangyari at uh, nagka, baga, nagkasagutan. No? Talagang yung uh, interpolation talagang uh, mainit na talakayan mga kababayan. Please, panoorin na po natin yung video na to, ang nagaling po ito sa SMNI mga kababayan. No? At eh, para makita natin kung ano po ang kanilang uh, pinag-usapan. Ito na po. Nice as representative, Eileen brought us from the Gabriela Partilis. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, um, my question is, yung 13.9 billion na inilaan sa pagpapatayo ng classrooms, no, inilalaan para sa pagpapatayo ng classrooms, ilan po ang maipapatayo nito? Madam Chair. Yes, so we'd like to call you Sir Ablan, uh, Administration Sran. Yes, Madam Chair, for the classroom allocation for 2023, we can uh, allocate uh, 2,300 classrooms po. So, Madam Chair, Base sa mga sinabi kanina, sa kalagayan ng classroom talaga natin, overcrowded, tapos karamihan dalawang klase sa isang classroom, ano exactly yung gagawin ng DepEd para dito? Um, kanina po sinabi yung flexible learning, etc. Ano exactly yung gagawin natin sa mga kulang yung classrooms? Excuse me, Kablan. Madam Secretary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So right yeah. now, what we are doing is that uh, we do shifting of classes. And uh, some of our um, schools are on uh, blended learning. So uh, they shift from in-person classes to modular or uh, online electronic uh, uh, classes. And um, uh, for our future plan is um, the flexible learning options. So flexible learning options right now are FLOALS, that is the Alternative Learning System, Walang, uh... the FLOADM, that is the Alternative Delivery Modes of uh, Instructional or Learning Modalities, and the FLOADM. LOLRs. So uh, the long-term plan is for uh, flexible learning options and the short-term plan is for shifting of classes and uh, blended learning. Thank you. Yes, so, process. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, uh, um, physical talaga yung kailangan ng mga estudyante no, na structure sa ngayon at yun talaga yung kulang. Dati pa naman, kulang, par, kulang na ng classroom mga kababayan. No? Hindi pa yan, BPC Inday Sara. At hindi pa rin presidente si Tatay Digong. At ngayon po sa, sa, ang ating presidente si Bongbong Marcos. Dati pa kulang na talaga ng classroom. Hindi na bagong issue yan. And Madam Chair, how about yung mga textbooks, instructional materials? May bagong delivery ba ng textbooks? And ilan po ang na-procure na armchairs and desks ng DepEd? Right. Okay. Uh, Yusek uh, Ablan of the curriculum and, I'm sorry, uh, administration strand. Yusek Ablan. Uh, right now, Madam Chair, we uh, have procurement for SLMs. Uh, and textbooks. Uh, for next year, we are also programming uh, continuing uh, SLMs and textbooks, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, my question about the procurement ng arms and chairs, desk ng DepEd, para sa paghahanda sa face-to-face -face classes. 
in so far as the school furniture program is concerned, Madam Chair, we have an allocation of 1.1 uh, billion, uh, which uh, we seek to have 15,510 seats uh, delivered to our learners uh, this year. Madam Chair, kasha ba ito? I, uh, Madam... Uh, my apologies. Uh, it's not enough, uh, Madam Chair. Um, our research have shown that in 2020, the the House of Representatives allocated more or less 4 billion pesos for the uh, school furniture program because there is a backlog. Uh, however, due to the COVID pandemic, 3 billion was actually uh, returned to the Bayanihan Fund. Uh, we are requesting uh, for this con for the House to return the 3 billion that we requested so that when we uh, build classrooms, there is a corresponding number of uh, chairs and furniture. So uh, again, to reiterate, uh, the house uh, allocated four billion, uh, but we returned three billion for the bayanihan. We are seeking the return of the three billion in order for us to adequately provide for chairs and tables for our learners. Very nice. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, Miss uh, Ma Madam Chair, Madam Chair. Um, bakit binalik yung fondo? No, kulang nga. Pinababalik nyo, Madam, uh, Madam Chair? Madam yes. Secretary? Yes, uh, we'd like to call uh, Yusek Sevilla of Finance Chan. Yusek Sevilla. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, it was during the uh, calendar year 2020 and 2021, there was an executive order to review programs that are will not be implemented due to the COVID. And uh, DBM actually has identified also programs of the Department of Education. And uh, this was officially returned negative allotment and then uh, positive allotment for the blended learning. So ito po ay talagang ginawa ng lahat ng mga ahensya. Ang ibig sabihin lang po is yung requirement na dapat na ipadala or na deliver noong 2020, 2021 because of the Bayanihan Law will now be very much inadequate for 2023. And uh, i-reiterate po namin, ang proposal namin for 2023 for school furniture is 4.7 billion, but the NEP provided 1.8 billion. So another 3 billion deficiency for the year. Yun po yung explanation, Madam Chair. Yun, Madam Chair, ano, nag-a-average ng mga class size ng 40, 50, 60, tapos walang upuan. Um, Madam Chair, dapat seryoso, seryosohin natin ito, no? bigyan natin ng atensyon yung tumitinding education crisis. Kailangan po tugunan ng gobyerno yung kakulangan sa pasilidad, yung classrooms, yung kagamitan, yung mga guro na lubos na naapektuhan dito sa kalidad ng edukasyon para po talagang makausad tayo, Madam Chair. And um, my question is, meron po kayong... Meron po kayong 150 million confidential fund sa DepEd. Para po saan ito? Kasi I believe yung Office of the Vice President, meron na siyang 500 million confidential fund na nakalagay. And ito, 150 million. And in the 2021 and 2022 ga, wala, rin po, wala pong ganito. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, um, the Office of the Vice President and the Department of Education are two separate uh, entities. Uh, they are two separate departments of uh, the government and uh, they have uh, separate mandates as well. As explained earlier, um, number one, the success of a project, activity or program really depends upon um, very good intelligence and uh, surveillance because you want to target uh, specific issues and uh, challenges. And because um, they, these uh, specific issues and challenges are all illegal, like say, for example, as previously mentioned, sex sexual grooming of learners, recruitment in terrorism and violent extremism, drug use of deaf ed personnel, uh, these are not laid out for our regular personnel to see. That is why we need the help of the security cluster and the security sector to uh, address these issues and challenges to basic education. 
And as I said, um, basic education has a direct link to the national security of our country. We are truly interested in the quality of education of our learners. Madam, to our members, yes, Madam uh, Chair. Sana po